You want to understand the Christian faith? Here it is right here. Confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord. What does confess mean, by the way? I just say things and magically they change things? No, no. It's saying what you believe in your heart, say it out loud. What do you believe on the inside, say it on the outside. Well, what do you need to believe? What do you need to confess? Jesus is Lord. What does that mean? If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart God has raised you from the dead, you will be saved. This is what he told his torturer, his jailer. That's the gospel. And by the way, if you, again, are a seeker or a skeptic, or you belong to another religion, or you're spiritual or Christian, but not really, you want to understand the Christian faith? Here it is right here. Confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord. What does confess mean, by the way? I just say things and magically they change things? No, no. It's saying, what you believe in your heart, say it out loud. What do you believe on the inside, say it on the outside. Well, what do you need to believe? What do you need to confess? Jesus is Lord. What does that mean? That is Jesus is King. Jesus is more important than Caesar back then or any system we've got today. And Jesus is who he claims. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He's the only one that can forgive sins. He shares the nature, the name, the holiness, the authority, the power, the majesty, and the eternity of God because he's equal with the Father. When you're declaring Jesus as Lord, you're saying, I believe what you claimed about yourself, and I believe you're in charge. And the next thing you have to confess, believe in your heart and confess, is God raised Jesus from the dead. This is a historical event. This is not myth. Our faith is rooted in actual history. Jesus was crucified under Roman rule. He died. He descended to the dead. He suffered terrible torture. His death was real. Jesus shared the fate of all of those who had died. But this was for a purpose. It's not random violence in some back part of the Roman ancient world. This was heaven's work. This was God's plan to overcome everything that separates us from God. Jesus, of course, overcomes it by not staying dead. Unlike every other person who's ever died, he's the only one who's come back from the other side and told us who is there and what is there. And he didn't stay dead for 15 seconds or see some light on some operating table. He was dead for three days. He physically came back. That's what Paul says you must believe.